In this question, we want to find number of linearly independent vectors in V1, V2 and V3. And to do that, we use the matrix rank method. In matrix rank method, we construct a matrix whose columns are these vectors V1, V2 and V3 will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, minus 2, 1, minus 3, minus 5, minus 4, minus 1, 8, 3, 2, 7. And rank of this matrix will be number of linearly independent vectors. Now this matrix is a big one of size 5 by 3. So we use the row echelon form to find rank of this matrix. For that we need to convert this matrix into row echelon form and for that we use elementary row operations. So let's start with R2 to R2 minus 2 R1, R3 to R3 minus 3 R1, R4 to R4 minus 4 R1 and R5 to R5 minus 5 R1. So R2 minus 2 R1 will give me minus 2 plus 4 plus 2. R3 minus 3 R1 will give me minus 3 plus 6 plus 3. R4 minus 4 R1 will give me minus 4 plus 8 plus 4 and R5 minus 5 R1 will give me minus 5 plus 10 plus 5. So this will give me 1 minus 2 minus 1 0 5 10 0 3 6 0 3 6 0 6 12 now in this matrix i will do r5 to r5 minus 2 r4 r4 to r4 minus r3 r3 to r3 minus 3 by 5 r2 so this will give me here r5 minus 2 r4 will give me minus 0 minus 6 minus 12 here r4 minus r3 will give me minus 0 minus 3 minus 6 r3 minus 3 by 5 r2 will give me minus 0 minus 3 and minus 6 so i will get 1 minus 2 minus 1 0 5 10 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 0 so i have my row echelon form and 1 and 5 are my pivot element and correspondingly first and second column are my pivot columns and the number of pivot columns is 2 so rank of this matrix is 2 and that is equals to number of linearly independent vectors so there are two linearly independent vectors and those linearly independent vectors correspond to the pivot columns that is first and second column and these columns correspond to vectors v1 and vector v2 so we can also say that vector v1 and v2 are linearly independent 